Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So this is my last video for tonight, and it's about Amarosa. You all know that I did a video not too long ago. I will post a link in the cards about that video where basically you have um, you have Amarosa. You know, she has this book coming out, and in this book she's claiming that Donald Trump is a racist and a sexist. That's not new information for any of us. Uh, but she also claims that there's a tape of Donald Trump using the N-word during the recording of one of the um, Apprentice shows. So apparently he's on tape, according to Amarosa, using the N-word. And Amarosa has released some audio tapes of different conversations that she's had with members of the Trump administration, including uh, a call with um, John Kelly, you know, this, where they're discussing her being fired. She also released a tape recently of uh, someone from the Trump family offering to pay her like $15,000 a month to be quiet about her experiences in the White House, uh, offering her some kind of job as a part of the administration after she was fired in order to hush her up and shut her up and all that kind of stuff. So she exposed that. And then she also released a tape before that one of Katrina Pearson. And I want to get into that for a second. So you have Katrina Pearson, who's a black woman who is a spokesperson for the Trump campaign and all that kind of stuff. She was one of the lead figures. And basically, Omarosa says that uh, Katrina Pearson was on this conference call with a couple of other people. And during this conference call, uh, Katrina Pearson basically says that she thinks that Donald Trump did, in fact, use the N-word. And she's talking about how Donald Trump is embarrassed, according to, uh, you know, according to Omarosa. Also, um, you know, this tape exposes other things, which I'll get into in a second. But you had Katrina Pearson deny this, deny that she was on this conference call, deny that she said that Donald Trump said this and that, denied all this kind of stuff. But then Omarosa came with a whole bunch of receipts. She was throwing receipts at him like this, you know, basically exposing audio tape of this woman, Katrina Pearson, and these other people on this conference call. And on this conference call, Katrina Pearson is saying that Donald Trump did say the N-word. She's saying that Donald Trump is embarrassed. And you have these people on there talking about how can they spin this? They want to find out the context of the use of the N-word. And they want to figure out how they can spin it. So you had this woman, Katrina Pearson, deny all this. And then she's been exposed as a liar. Because, you know, it's on tape. And then now she's trying to clean it up and say, well, she said those things to placate uh, Omarosa. She said that he said it just to quiet Omarosa or whatever. But that makes no sense. That's absolutely ridiculous. And I, I just want to take some time to talk about this. You know, basically, I see this as a, a coon war between Katrina Pearson and Omarosa. These people were both working for one of the most racist administrations in our lifetime. You know, these people both served as buffer Negroes to defend Donald Trump uh, from charges of racism and this and that. So I don't have respect for either one of these people. But at least Omarosa came with receipts and she has exposed this woman, Katrina Pearson, as a liar. And the fact that you have these people talking about ways that they can spend the use of the N-word, that just tells you how morally bankrupt these people are. It tells you how big of a coon these people are. It tells you how they don't care anything about black people. They are more concerned with pleasing the master than they are concerned with their own people. And that's a disgrace, man. It's an absolute disgrace. You know, if Amarosa felt so strongly about this use of the N-word and she felt like that, that there was really a tape out there, she should have resigned from the administration. That's what I think. If she was really that concerned about this issue. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, this whole situation is r ridiculous. And then after, um, um, you know, Amarosa accused Donald Trump of using the N-word and she's airing them out and this and that. 
um, Donald Trump put out some tweets and he called uh, Amarosa a lowlife. He called her a dog. Uh, he called her um, wacko and, you know, other derogatory things. And despite that, you have a black woman, Katrina Pearson, defending this nonsense, defending a white man calling a black woman a dog. Defending this. And by calling this woman a dog, this man is essentially calling her a bitch. This is the president of the United States talking like this. This man is a national embarrassment. And the fact that you would have a black woman defend this kind of disrespect of another black woman just shows you how much of a sellout this woman Katrina Pearson is. You know, as much as I do not like Amarosa, as much as I have said certain things about her, I wouldn't just sit back and, you know, be okay with Donald Trump disrespecting a black woman like that, calling her a dog, calling a black, basically calling this black woman a bitch. And I know I've said some harsh things about, you know, Amarosa or whatever, but I see that more as like a family type of discussion. When you can argue among your family. You know, this happens all the time. You have an argument with your loved ones in the house, but when you go outside of the house, you don't let other people treat your family like that. And that's the way I see it with this Amarosa situation. The fact that you have a president feeling so comfortable that he can call a black woman a lowlife and a dog, that speaks to his disrespect to the black community. No number of meetings with those hand-picked house Negro pastors can make up for that. And it's just time for black people to wake up. I wonder what those stupid pastors think now as they watch the president of the United States call a black woman a dog. But I'm not surprised by anything that those pastors do at this point. They stood with this man, a man that referred to Africa and Haiti as shithole countries. A man that's made all kinds of disrespectful comments to black people. You know, questioning um, our sister Maxine Waters' intelligence, talking about she's a low IQ person. But yet you had these Negroes happy to serve this man, happy to be around this man, not holding him accountable at all. That is not black leadership. That is, you know, puppet leadership. That is punkified leadership. That's sellout leadership. And we don't need any more of that. And, you know, this whole situation with Katrina Pearson and Amarosa just shows you how, how morally bankrupt some of our people are, how much of a sellout some of our people are. So, you know, that's what I have to think say about this, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.